Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for everybody out there. I will be pulling out cards for every sign out there, so stay tuned. The question is going to be, what is the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with a specific someone, and you want to know what's going to be the future of that particular connection, then this reading is something that you can definitely check. I will be pulling out oracle cards in this reading as well, but yes, we will not get into the clarifiers. So yeah, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where uh, I do upload daily readings. So yeah, um, let's dive into the reading and let's find out what is going to be the future of this connection. I'm going to start with the sign of Pisces. So let's see for fishies, what is going to be the future of this connection, whatever connection that you have with your specific someone. Let's see what is going to be the future of that connection. When I say the future, I don't mean like, you know, the ultimate future. We are talking about the, you know, coming future. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. Three of Pentacles, the Hangman. Five of Wands. I mean, the deck we do have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, there is a lot of stability that you both wish to have in this connection, but somehow there are delays because of the work or the people's involvement in this connection, which is definitely adding a lot of stress in the connection. For some of you, your person could be busy or you could be busy, and that's why you are unable to give time to your relationship much, which is why things are delaying in this connection. But the ultimate future that you both desire is the happiness that you seek in this connection, the stability that you seek in this connection. But yes, I feel like you know there are some more delays coming up for you. There are some more stress is coming up for you for this, uh, you know, connection. Especially when it comes to, I feel like you know the person that you are dealing with, um, they are pretty busy with their work scenario, and that's why you are waiting for them to come forward to give you what you want, what you desire with them, and you have to wait for for that thing to kind of you know sort out. Uh, whatever it is that is keeping them busy, they will take their due time. So let them have that time. A message for you. Uh, I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. They do love you. But yes, they they want you to be patient with them for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the next sign, which is going to be the sign of uh, Scorpio. So let's see what is, you know, um, the future of your connection with your specific someone for the sign of Scorpio. What is the future of your connection with your specific someone? I will be pulling out the oracle card as well. But yeah, just be mindful that when I say the future, I don't mean the ultimate future. We are talking about the near future of this connection. So what can you expect coming up for the two of you? Let's see. Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Fool. I feel like, you know, there's uh, going to be a lot of clarity coming in for you around this connection. And that clarity is going to make you go for a new beginning with the same person. Um, but this beginning that I do see coming is not going to come until and unless you have the clarity. You have that awareness. You have that, you know... Uh, feeling where you embrace the feelings that you have for this person there is a lot of feeling that you feel for this person but the energies are very slow that you might not see things changing or your person might not see things changing but as you have the clarity as you have that you know uh, <clears throat> confusion go away from you um, for some of you you could be you could be uh, you or your person could be busy with a lot of things happening in their life as well so as soon as one gets done with that for some of you, it could be a clarity. For others of you, it can be a lot of things that is happening in your life or in the life of the person that you are dealing with. As that happens, as that gets, you know, done, you you and your person is going to take the connection to the next level because I do see a new beginning here coming up. Right now, situation seems like, you know, um, the love is not being expressed. Up till now, the love has not been, you know, uh, expressed by you or, or the person. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of love, but it has been kind of, you know, uh, suppressed by either you or the person that you are dealing with but soon uh, somebody would feel the need to do justice in this connection and that's going to be the time when the person is going to take a leap of faith and jump into the connection with this person whoever it is that you are dealing with so i do see that you know some um slow moving energies but things are heading in the right direction let's see the oracle card now let's see what is the oracle guidance coming up for you for this read <clears throat> balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges 
I feel like, you know, there's lack of balance in your life right now, which is causing this relationship definitely suffer. Maybe for some of you, you really have to bring balance in your life by giving equal love, um, attention to love as you do to the other areas of your life. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Uh, sorry, the next uh, sign, <clears throat> which is going to be the cancer. Let's see. What is the future of this connection? The Not the ultimate future, but yes, what can you expect coming up for you in, in coming future for yourself? Nine of Cups wants to come out. Uh, let's see, what is the ultimate, uh, sorry, what is the future of this connection that you have with a specific someone? Um, King of Wands. I do see you getting your wish fulfilled around somebody around your love life. This person could be a new person coming in your life as well. Uh, this person could be a past person as well, but I feel like you know there is a new energy more than anything else. This person, whoever it is that is going to enter in your life is going to be somebody how you always wanted your life partner to be. If you have already somebody in your life, I feel like you know that person is definitely, um, what is that? If this person is somebody from the past, I feel like, you know, they might have hurt you uh, or delayed the process of this connection because of the people involved in their life. They could be, you know, dealing with another person in their life as well. They could be dealing with, um, you know, um, um, some pressure upon them as well. If that has been the case, I feel like you know, now they are definitely going to come towards you having get rid of, you know, whatever that was stopping them. So I feel like, you know, um, your wish is definitely going to come through. Um, communication is definitely coming in with your person and then you are going to have a beautiful uh, breakthrough in this connection for sure. Wow, yeah. I do see you getting married ultimately. Whether whatever the connection uh, situation is right now, but I do see you getting uh, married ultimately in this connection. Um, there are some, you know, uh, some things to sort out before that happens. I don't see it coming through, but yes, I feel like, you know, you will be getting your wish granted with this person, whoever it is that is that you are dealing with. If it is somebody new, I feel like, you know, you might have allowed a lot of people to influence your love life in the past. This time you have to stop doing that. You have to take decisions for yourself. Let's see the Oracle guidance around your love life. Let's see what your guidance is. Hold on. <clears throat> Trust transformation occurs through acceptance. Only you ex uh, once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So this is your Oracle guidance around the current situation that you are dealing with in your love life. You really have to believe in transformation and let things transform and trust and have faith in the situation. So yeah, let's move on to the next sign, which is Leo. Let's see what is coming for the Leos for this read. Okay. Um... What's the future of this connection? Whatever connection that you have with a specific someone, let's see what is coming for the two of you. When I say future, I don't mean the ultimate future. We are going to tap into the near future of this connection that you have with your specific someone. I do see blessings will come in because I could see all the positive cards as they fell uh, off the deck. But yeah, let's see. <clears throat> Five of Swords, the world. Knight of Cups. Big changes uh, you can definitely expect coming in for you in this connection with the, your specific someone as you work on your fears, as you work on the issues that you were having with this person, things will get in the in the in the right direction for you. Now I feel like you know for some of you, you might have to work on your inner fears around this person or your love life overall. That's how you will get things through. Like, you know, um, for some of you, maybe you need to work on yourself. As in, maybe you are in a twin flame journey with your specific someone. You have to learn a few lessons. Uh, as you do so, as you learn from your mistakes, your lessons, you and your person would have, um, you know, learned the same lesson that they were supposed to learn. And then things were going to move forward smoothly towards the next step. Um, seven of Cups, Ten of uh, Pentacles and the Sun. What is that? <clears throat> either one of you you or person or your person could have been very confused about this connection in terms of if the family is going to accept it if they are going to accept it if uh you know um 
if if uh, your family is going to accept this for some of you there could have been a religious uh, ba religion barriers as well in this connection uh, or social standards as well so that could have been one of the reasons why your person has been going on and off around this connection that they have with you but i do see ultimately you getting your wish fulfilled with your specific someone whoever it is that you are dealing with i do see this connection going to the next level in the coming days time but yes for that you have to work on your fears if you have any be that mental blocks fears or something around those lines you have to work towards them let's see the oracle guidance now around the connection that you have with your specific someone <clears throat> healing healing Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. If you, I feel like you know, this person is definitely somebody from your past. If not, then you have to heal yourself before you could have some positive changes coming up for you in your love life. But I feel like, you know, this is a past connection and there's a lot of healing needs to be done in this connection. There has been a past that, uh, that has been like, you know, a block in this connection from, uh, you know, that has been blocking this connection to move forward. You have to heal yourself as you heal so um this connection will start moving forward for the two of you so yeah let's move on to the next sign which is going to be libra let's see what is coming up for you what is the future of your connection with your specific someone um when i say future i don't mean the ultimate future i mean the near future so yeah let's see what is the future of your connection let's find out the bad things the issues the you know the troubles of this connection is definitely going away um the 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 relationship might have been uh you know very turbulent in the recent past but i do see positive changes coming in um i do see things gonna sort out i do see things gonna um you know be shared expressed discussed in this connection um and then i do see you guys accepting that yes you both are you know bound to be together whatever that was like you know blocking this connection um is definitely ending balance harmony is definitely coming back in this connection between the two of you um hold on why this has been turbulent one person not wasn't ready to put efforts into this connection earlier it can be you it can be them but um it's more like you know when when you feel that i'm not doing anything wrong in the connection that's the energy was that was there in this connection coming from one person be that you or the person that you are dealing with but things are getting better i feel like you know if you use two uh, tools and techniques of law of attraction it will get even quick the changes that you desire in this connection will come in quick so you can try doing that as well but I feel like you know affirmations is going to help you a lot um especially if you have had those issues where you felt like you know the other person is not giving into the connection thinking that maybe it's not the right time or something around those lines let's see the oracle guidance wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course i feel like you know one person has always been ready and the other person has always been like you know very immature towards dealing with this connection now it's very important for you to wait and be patient things are you know working out but yes while you wait, you must stay positive and have faith as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's move on to the next sign, <clears throat> which is Gemini. So let's see what is coming up for Gemini in this situation. What is the future of your connection with your specific someone? Um, when I say future, I don't mean the ultimate future. It's going to be like, you know, something that's going to come in uh, in coming days, weeks, time. So let's see, what is the future of this connection that you are having with this specific someone? Let's see. Six of Cups, I do see you uh, wishing and hoping for some new beginning with this person, whoever it is that you are thinking about, whoever it is that you are missing right now. You might be like, you know, missing the good days that you had with this person. But yes, you have a strong faith that this person and you are destined to be together and you will be having a new beginning, which I do see coming through. Um... <clears throat> I do see that you have a strong faith around it. You might not be putting much effort into the connection. You have a strong faith that everything is going to work out well in this connection. Your person is going to come through and you are going to have a new beginning. For some of you, you might be single. And if that's you, then trust me, you are going to be daydreaming a lot about, you know, I want my life partner to be so and so. I don't see you taking any action towards your person, but yes, I feel like, you know, you are, you know, maybe even if you have a specific someone that you're missing, I do see that you might have walked away from them you might have ended the connection with them or they have ended the connection with you but 
yes i do seem very positive around it and you know that they are going to come back to you when they are ready for some of you there could have been a third party situation in this connection and um <clears throat> and there is still that third party situation in this connection for some of you mm, but there is love but there is happiness that you seek um why who is this There could be third party situation as in another person and there could be a third party situation as in the responsibility of family and situation. Family situation could have been a third party situation in your connection as well. Maybe they don't um, have the approval of their family for you or something around those lines. But yes, I do see you daydreaming. I do see you, you know, working towards um, it mentally, not physically. I don't see you taking any action. You are waiting for them to come forward. Um, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with fate. I feel like you know if you if you if you choose to walk away or move on with your life, you have a better chance of having the kind of person that you want to be with. But still, if you want for this person to come back, you can still wait for them if you want. But yes. If you are fearful that maybe you're not going to find another person, I feel like, you know, you will definitely find another person if you choose to move on. And if you choose to wait still, you will have this person coming back to you, but maybe you will have to wait long. So it's totally your call, your choice. But yes, let's move on to the next question. Uh, sorry, next sign, which is the Aries. Let's see what is the future of your connection, whoever it is that you're dealing with Aries. Let's find out the future of your connection. Uh... You are on the verge of a new beginning, be that with the person or be that away from this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with. Okay, um, let's see. When I say future, I don't mean the ultimate future. We are tapping into the near uh, future of this connection. So just be mindful of that. <clears throat> Maybe you want a new, uh, you know, new beginning with the same person and... Uh, you want to pursue this person and this connection and you are like trying your best to make things work with your person um or maybe it's their energy maybe they are coming back to start a new with you somebody has changed maybe it's you maybe it's them but yes there is a strong need um to have a new beginning or have a talk with your person in this connection there is something that you are feeling for your person or they are feeling for you but yes um i feel like you know somebody has to take some action towards the other person um <clears throat> somebody has been hurt in this connection it can be your person have hurt you or you have hurt them but i feel like you know somebody's acknowledging that and somebody's sorry for that and somebody is going to come back to make amends for whatever that didn't work out well for the two of you in this connection um i feel like you know the connection that you felt is over it's not um there is a chance of a reunion in this connection but before that happens, I feel like you know, there is like a you new know, materialistic um, things more important to either one of you, be that you or the person that you are dealing with. So there is this need to understand that love is more important than, you know, financial situations. Maybe you get all the money that you want, but at the same time, you don't have another person to celebrate the money with. So I feel like, you know, either one of you is very materialistic in their approach towards life and the other person doesn't like it much. But yep, let's see more cards. Um... Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Um, daydream, take mental action and visualize things getting better in this connection. That's going to help you a lot. Especially if you think your person is so busy with their work and you know situations like that. And they ignore you and they value their money more than you, they value you. You have to stop changing that story in your mind to the desirable outcome that you have for the two of you so yeah let's move on to the next sign which is virgo let's see what is coming up for the virgos in this situation what is the future of your connection with your specific someone where it is that you are dealing with let's find out what is the future of that connection of you and them what's going to come for the two of you in this connection i do see the tower so maybe some sudden changes happening in this connection um which can be negative positive but yes abrupt changes definitely coming up Let's see, what is the future of the connection that you have with a specific someone? Uh, there is a lot of passion. There is a lot of excitement. But yes, somebody really wants to take it to the next level. But I feel like you know, the other person is not as excited as one person is. So there will be delays coming up in this connection. So just be prepared for that. 
um, maybe you want stable uh, energies in this connection, the person that you are dealing with, they are more passionate than, you know, taking it to the next level, the stable way. A lot of passion, a lot of excitement, and then there is this uh, wish of either one of you where you want this connection to be like, you know, leading towards marriage or commitment. Um, you both are not on the same page, but yes, you love, there are certain things that you are on the same page uh, about, like maybe the sex part of it, maybe the, the passion part of it, you both are on the same page. When it comes to taking it to the next level, your person is not ready. So you will have to wait. So just try to enjoy what, what you share rather than expecting a bit too much from this connection. Um, because the more you keep it balanced, the more it is fun. Otherwise, it's going to start bothering either one of you. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. You have to allow things to happen. Don't rush into the connection uh, or taking the connection to the next level just yet. Why? Because this this uh, person, whoever it is that you are dealing with, they will need their time to take it to the next level. So don't have high expectations from them. Let's move on to the next silent, uh, which is Taurus. Let's see, what is the future of your connection with your specific someone, Taurus? When I say future, I mean the near future, not the ultimate future. So we do have the justice and the page of cups. I do see some sort of justice coming in this situation, in this connection that you have with your specific someone. Um, somebody needs to express their love, be that you or the person that you are dealing with. That, that expression of love is going to end the uncertainty around this connection that you have with your specific someone. And that will lead to a beautiful new beginning with your person. I do see there is a lot of success, happiness, abundance coming in this connection as somebody has to do justice. It can be you, it can be them. But I feel like, you know, beautiful changes are coming ahead. Somebody's going to express their love and uh, put an end to whatever has happened. Delays, whatsoever has been the case. Yes. Somebody's really looking forward to end that all and embrace that, yes, you both are designed to be together and that's how you're going to have a new beginning. Let's see what the oracle has to add. Only time will tell. Only time will tell how this is going to pan out because for some of you, you might have been in no communication, no contact with this person for quite some time and you feel like, you know, it's being so wishful of me to think that they are going to come in to propose. But in actuality, they will come and you will get to know. So yeah, let's move on to the next sign, which is Aquarius. So let's see, what is the future of your connection with your specific someone? Let's find out. When I say future, I mean the near future, not the ultimate future. So just be mindful of that. <clears throat> what is the future of your connection with your specific someone? Where it is that you're dealing with Aquarius? Let's find out. Sure, so somebody is definitely going to get hurt in the process. Um, it can be you, it can be the person that you are dealing with. Maybe you are dealing with two people. Maybe your person is dealing with two people. So um, I feel like, you know, there is, there could be like, you know, this situation could be the existing situation right now in this connection. But then comes a message. Then comes, a, you know, um, a good news or a news. And that's going to make you feel even more fucked up. So I feel like, you know, there is a lot of stress coming up for you in this connection with your specific someone. Things going to feel like, you know, um, maybe you are waiting for some, some good news to come in. And then comes the bad news around the connection, which is going to def definitely disappoint you. Because you have love, but maybe they are unable to break free from whatever it is that they are involved in. Um, I, I do see you uh, choosing to stay single uh, rather than, you know, letting this person take you for granted. And being with another person and, you know, uh, you, you would rather choose to have or accept somebody else if they come in towards you. Maybe for some of you, you might choose to move on from a person that you are waiting on for because they are not doing what they need to do. So maybe you're going to choose to move on. Maybe they are leaving you with their partner and you are left alone and you have to choose your own, you know, specific new person in your life. Yes, I do see you choosing to end a connection with a specific someone. Either you are going to walk away. There is a third party situation very dominantly in this connection that you have with your specific someone. Somebody is definitely going away with their partner and the other person is going to choose a new person in their life. So that's what I'm picking up in your connection. Let's see the oracle guidance. Let's see what this has to add to the reading. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your love life. So that's what I'm picking up here for you. You need to embrace new opportunities rather than keeping yourself stuck in the past situation with a specific someone. Just let them go and let yourself, you know, just free yourself from that person as well. So yeah, the next uh, sign is going to be the sign of Capricorn. So let's see what is coming up for you for this connection. What is the future of this connection with every connection that you have with your specific someone? 
let's see what is coming for the two of you when i say the future i mean the nearby future or the near future not the ultimate future so yeah let's see capricorns what is the future of your connection with your specific someone let's begin wow beautiful 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 future um <clears throat> I do see you very happy with your specific someone. I feel like, you know, this person is going to bring you a lot of happiness, abundance in your life. This person is going to prove to be your sunshine. This person is going to make you your wishes come true regarding love life. But then there are people around you who are going to kind of, you know, um, create trouble for you in this connection. Uh, so beware of them, whoever they are. Uh, they're going to make you feel like, you know, oh my God, you are taking the wrong decision. Maybe you're giving a chance to a past person and you should not be doing so. Maybe you're giving a chance to a person who is with so-and-so. Maybe you just don't need to listen to them. This person, whoever it is that is coming in your life, is somebody coming from a distant land, uh, somebody who's very authoritative as well. I feel like, you know, you shall give it a chance. If, if you are not willing to give your all into this connection still, I would suggest you still give it a try because I feel like, you know, somehow... <clears throat> There will be some people around you who's going to tell you a wrong situation or wrong story around this person. So make sure you don't listen to them. If you believe them, uh, maybe you just need to say no to this person. But if you don't um, know for that is to be true, then maybe you can give them a chance at least. So I do see that, you know, um, whoever this person is that you are dealing with, um, they're really hopeful around the situation between the two of you. Uh, but somehow, um, somehow, I don't see you accepting this connection readily. Or maybe it's their energy. Maybe they are not accepting this connection readily because of the people telling them situations around you too. Maybe they're going to say bad stuff about them or maybe you are going to hear bad stuff about a person that you are dealing with as well. So I feel like you know, that's going to block you from uh, or going to make you kind of, you know, uh, not so it's going to make the, make it hard for you to accept them or whatever they are telling to you because you have some rumors that you're going to hear about them. So, yeah, let's see. So it's going to be hard for you to believe them. Let's see the oracle guidance around it. Let's see what it has to add. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Maybe for some of you, you have to um, give space to each other for some time. Um, so things get sorted out. Maybe for some of you, maybe your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, maybe they are busy and people are telling you that oh my god they don't love you they don't do this and that and maybe that's something that is kind of you know worrying you now because you feel like maybe they are you know they have moved on or something or they have another person in their life as well so whatever the case is you have to just allow them to have the space once things are you know meant to happen they will happen but meanwhile don't start creating stories of your own in your mind so yeah let's move on to the <clears throat> next sign which is the Sagittarius and which is the last sign as well let's see what is the future of your connection whoever it is that you're dealing with let's find out what is the future of your connection with them um when i say future i don't mean the ultimate future it's more of uh, the near future that's going to happen for you in this connection Sagittarius what is the future of your connection let's find out magician eight of cups ace of swords I do see that you are, uh, you know, um, <sighs> I do see you kind of uh, walking away from something because you don't see things coming. You don't see things coming. You don't see things working out. So I do see you walking away from this person, this connection, uh, thinking that maybe it's not time. Maybe it's not, you know, uh, how it is supposed to happen. As you choose to do so, I do see some messages, communication will start coming in. If you are single, I feel like, you know, you, you might have been trying to manifest a new person in your life. But um, as you give up on it, I do see people coming towards you. I do see, you know, new proposal uh, coming for you. Um, wow. But why are you walking away? I feel like, you know, you have been praying, wishing and hoping for something good to come in your love life and that has not been happening. And the moment you feel giving up on it is going to be the moment when you start having, you know, offers pouring in. Um, and then you do have choice as well. It's not like, you know, you are not going to be like, you know, 
having anyone in your life it's, it's more like you will be having people you will be having the choice to make um but yes i feel like you know it's it's not gonna happen like this it's, it's more like you know when you're giving up on your connection that's gonna be the moment when you will start seeing some positive changes coming up for you in a specific connection or even you know even if you are single i do see offers coming in as well um you don't have to stay worried around it. I would suggest you to start using law of attraction techniques um, or try yourself, uh, try to get yourself busy because if you stay focused on just this area of your life, I feel like, you know, you are going to kind of, you know, just, just make it very, even harder for you to get anything positive out of this situation. Maybe you have been single for quite some time and you really badly need to be with someone. But yes, the approach towards it, you know, needs to change. Maybe you need to stop thinking heavily around it. And as you allow that thought to go, things will start working out for you in your love life. Let's see the oracle guidance for you for your love life. Let's see what it has to add to the reading. Sacred union. Honor and uh, treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Whenever if and if and whenever this person is going to enter in your life, this is going to be for the lifetime. So just, just know one thing. Um... Whether you have a specific someone in your life right now or whether you don't, you just have to believe that something beautiful is going to happen. You don't have to, you know, be in wrong relationship and thinking that maybe it's going to work. Just wait uh, for the right one to enter. So they could add some happiness, stability in your life rather than taking the life out of your life. So just, just be patient with it. Um, hold on. <clears throat> If there is a specific someone in your life, I feel like you, know, you really need to treasure that one person rather than running away from them. Embrace what you feel for them and go for it. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.